What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? It's winter time here in Chicago. It's cold, and uh, we're gonna try lightening up the car a little bit this winter. Attention, Attention campers. campers, tonight's, tonight's lecture, lecture is liposuction, liposuction. Option, option or obsession. So, first thing that's gonna go, we're gonna gut these doors. The car's already got a cage in it. Um, we got X bars, so obviously, if we were to get in an accident, the crash bars on the doors kind of are redundant, so. Supposedly we can lose, I've heard anywhere between 10 to 20 pounds per door. So I'm gonna walk you through what I did and uh, we'll see what we end up getting out of the car. So we got the door panel off. You can kind of see, obviously my car was maroon uh, prior to my ownership, but uh, we're gonna remove some of the sheet metal here. Um, but the big thing that we wanna get out is this crash bar. You can see it in here. Um, it's this ribbed area. Um, there's two different styles in the Fox bodies. Um, there's one that's much lighter, and then there's this one, which supposedly in itself, I think is 10 pounds. Um, to remove it, we're gonna have to open up the door panel a little bit here. There are um, some spot welds, or uh, yeah, some spot welds that gotta get drilled out, and then, uh, some cutting that we gotta do on this side. So let's uh, let's start it. So we're just gonna mark some of the metal that we're gonna remove. If you look here, this is the door handle bar, which goes across. There's a brace in the middle here. So I'm not wanting to cut that completely out yet. So we're probably gonna cut, I'm assuming, this whole area out here um, and then on the other side there's probably gonna be some more that we're gonna take out maybe like around here um, all is gonna depend on how we uh, how we get going um, I do want to maintain the manual crank windows um, and then you know keep everything functionally so we'll see where we end up with uh, with the cutting but first we're gonna drill out those spot welds since I kind of care about my car, I put a little blue painter's tape here. Uh, that way the drill doesn't mar up the door. And then I've uh, put little pilots on the spot welds so that way with the bigger drill bit, you should be able to just drill them right out. So hopefully this goes smoothly. they're all drilled now might have to go a little bit more but at least we're started we're gonna have to start wiggling with the other uh, areas do some cutting so let's uh, let's move forward Here's our first piece. One eternity later. There's one chunk. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so quick update. Made a big hole there. We got this piece out. Um, I started cutting over here. This is actually turning out to be a little bit harder than I expected. Um, we got it about, I don't know, maybe 80% cut there. Um, access is an issue. Um, I have a side cutter, which can't quite get in there, at least not in some of the spots. Then I've been using a, a four inch cutoff tool on an angle, which has done well up until this point. So I'm um, gonna have to do a little bit more finagling. I don't wanna trim this hole too much more. I'm gonna leave the brackets for the windows because I wanna be able to continue to use them. So can't cut too much more down here. Don't wanna cut up here. Obviously this is where the uh, hand crank goes. So we'll uh, try to figure something out. One other thing too, um, this metal support has these like foam, I don't know, insulator deals. Um, I finally got it loose here, but it did take quite a bit of maneuvering to try to get this to free from the door. Uh, be very careful because as you're pulling on that, the sheet metal, the door uh, is obviously going with it until it's loose. Now that it's free for me, um, I should be good to go. I highly doubt I'm going to be able to get that thing out in one piece, but we'll uh, hopefully finish that cut over there and then I guess figure it out. All right, so I think we got it figured out. Uh, we took the bolt out of this bracket, which normally is here, bent it over a little bit. I got a clamp holding it. Um, one thing I want to point out that I've been doing is I have a quarter inch piece of uh, flat stock, putting it behind the crash support in between the door and that. So if for some reason while I'm cutting, I get a little aggressive, it'll cut that and not screw up your door. Definitely optional, but if you care about your paint, probably a good idea. All right, so I got about three quarters, actually probably more than that cut. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm wiggling it on the back here, um, hoping that the metal will fatigue and crack. And if it does, that'll avoid me having to cut more. Um, it looks like it's starting to tear, so we're gonna try this method, because I'm trying my best not to mess up the door here, but we'll uh, give it a couple more wiggles and see. Sure. She's all loose here. So now I gotta see if we can get it to slide out. I'm not super confident in that, but gotta gotta at least give it a try. Like we thought. This thing's definitely too big here, so i probably have to section it off or I might make a hole there, so figure it out. There it is, finally. What a pain in the ass. All right, so I did a little bit more trimming. I'm gonna leave more material than I feel like most. A lot of people, they'll cut all that out, um, basically the bare minimum to keep the window on, but I wanna leave a little bit of that. I wanna be able to keep this piece here. If you're not aware, there's a little clip on the back that keeps the, uh, the rod for opening the door. Uh, so without it, this thing would just be kind of dangling around. I want to try to keep everything functioning basically like factory. So uh, we're going to throw the door panel back on real quick and then uh, 
we're gonna weigh what we got out and uh, see how much weight we lost. So door panel's back on. A uh, little final touches we gotta do, but you would never know what's going on behind there. So uh, overall, pretty happy with that. You know, again, if you don't have door bars, roll cage, please don't gut your doors. Don't be stupid. But let's see if it was worth it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Hmm? So this is the pile from just one door. Um, obviously, kind of a lot. Uh, we got a scale here. I use this for mailing, so. I am very confident in its abilities to weigh. So it's one door, 16 pounds, three ounces. So this took me a little bit longer than I was expecting, but about an hour, hour and a half taking my time. So a couple hours of your time, you'll get 30 to maybe 35 pounds depending on how much metal you cut out which to me free mods weight savings You're only gonna go faster. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks